Do you have with us filmmaker Shaker Kapoor at the Lufthansa First Class Terminal? It's the only airline in the world to have one. And joining us now are three young entrepreneurs who are going to make a short pitch on their businesses and ideas to Shaker and try and win his confidence. Now, each entrepreneur gets two minutes to make their pitch, followed by a short chat with Shaker about their business. One of these three entrepreneurs could win today a Lufthansa Business Class return ticket. Their dream destination in Europe and a mentorship by Sai. Our winner could also potentially grab a spot on the Pioneering Spirit leaderboard, which will then rank all episodic winners on the basis of their scores, and the top three will meet in the grand finale. So let's begin with our first entrepreneur on the show, Swapnil Kale, CEO of United Linkers Biometrics. Welcome to the show. Hi, welcome. Sapnil, tell us about your company, United Linkers Biometrics. Uh, we started this company in Pune a few years ago and then we matured to Silicon Valley, California. Uh, we have a product by the name of IdentiSafe uh, where you can use your face or your fingerprint to do any kind of e-commerce transaction online. And that helps you to reduce credit card frauds. And then uh, your credit card cannot be claimed by anywhere else if it's lost. So it helps you to lose uh, all your materials that you have in your bank and then it helps you to secure your business. Uh, so, how does it work? Oh, pretty great. You get onto the onto your onto your laptop, and then you look into the camera of the laptop, and then it compares your face, and then it says, before you enter your credit card data, it will compare your face into a database, and that's you, and then you can purchase. So, if you tell your friend you want to buy, he may not be able to buy with your credit card. So, you're sure that your credit card is used by you and not somebody else. And how does the fingerprint work? Then? If it's a fingerprint, you just get out a mouse, which has got a fingerprint scanner by Microsoft, and then attach it to your computer, and then you can use it. You could also use it through your mobile phone. So you can take a picture on your mobile phone and then connect it to your laptop through Wi-Fi or through Bluetooth. You can still use it for transactions on mobile phone and camera. We mostly been doing it with banks, so Bank of Qatar, uh, and then we're doing it with Bank of Indonesia, and currently we signed up with Swiss Bank. So basically all the millions of dollars are being secured by the person who is using the credit card or the bank. But so are you making those millions of dollars or sure, not? Sure, I have access to the accounts, so someday definitely they will be happy enough to give in more money to all Okay, we'll grill you a little more, but that'll be later on the show. Thanks sure. so much. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks Thank you. To BPO, along with our pioneer today, Shekhar Kapoor. Together, they will now assess and evaluate the three pitches and entrepreneurs and then select a winner. Remember, the winner gets a Lufthansa Business Class return ticket to their dream destination in Europe and a mentorship by time. So we're going to now begin the grill, so to speak. Raman, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Swapanil. Tell me, how is uh, what you're doing different from what uh, Nanda Nilkani is trying to do for the country, where biometric is uh, is a critical component of that? Why won't that just replace whatever you're trying to do, and that's for free? Sure, sir. What Nanda Nilkani has been doing is being done on a very mass scale. Uh, we're looking at a global market, and basically Nanda Nilkani has got a vision for uh, the country, which is basically uh, got to do distribution sales out to the people who are poor. We are focused on e-commerce, and our fingerprint recognition or face fingerprint face uh, capture happens on the line on web. We don't go to people to do the registration. It's quick, it's fast. What's your revenue model? So the revenue model is that we have a biometric very sign kind of a model where you have a seal on the website which says this particular website is secured biometrically. That means the owner, the person who is selling, the person who is buying their database is maintained with us. So when you buy something online, you are sure that the goods will reach you. If you are using a credit card or a fingerprint for that, you know that it is the person who is using it. Alright, thanks very much. Let's move on to... Well, I'm going to give you both some time to think, some serious business analysis done in this segment. Right. And that's why we're going to introduce what is called the Pioneering Spirit Dashboard. It actually gets a bit objective on parameters on which Shekhar and Raman together will mark the three entrepreneurs. These parameters are market opportunity, the quality of solution or innovation, scalability, the team that these entrepreneurs have, and the differentiation that the businesses show. Each parameter assessed on a score of 20, together by Shaker and Raman. Each entrepreneur then gets a final score out of 100, and that would eventually decide the winner. So I'm going to hand over the dashboard. Okay, 
looks like we do have the scores and we seem to have uh, come down to a result, a winner. But I'm going to ask Shekhar to do the honor. Really this was really close. Yeah, very three different com kinds of complete businesses. Um, and you know what? It was tough. I mean, I'm looking at the scores and realizing how tough it was. And big discussion. But as I said, you know, time will tell. As I said, 10 years down the line, if we are wrong, then we are all very happy to be wrong. Okay. But give us stock in your businesses in any case. <laughs> because we think all three of you will succeed. Yeah. That is the good news, though. But here are uh, Shaker's views. Shop nil. Um, our fascination with technology, you know, anything new, anything wonderful, anything in the future, we are completely fascinated by. Uh, so it was tough. 